Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. This is episode 56 in this Let's Play series and today we will be getting woodcutting 45 and then checking out the third world event slash Easter event slash whatever you want to call it which is Marimbo versus Brassica Prime. Now as you can see here I have skirmisher gloves. I logged in on one of the days that I was uh not recording and just to do a treasure hunter and I got that which from what I can tell these gloves get stronger the higher defense level you are so once I reach level 30 I think they will get better or they might be members only I don't know but anyway let's go ahead and do today's today's thing see what amazing item I can get that hopefully I can keep Come on. Okay. That works for me. And I thought these butterflies were members only, but I don't think they'll give XP to me. But if you're a member, they give experience. No. XP reward. But I don't know if you get the other reward, because there's also cosmetic stuff that you get. So I'll have to look that up. They're going to be around for two weeks, so... If there is cosmetic stuff, I'll have no trouble getting it. And as for the Easter event, it's really not an Easter event. It's just a mini game they added that is not even Easter related. And none of the rewards are Easter related in any way. And it's just a huge disappointment all around. It's just uh, basically a way to get Seed Aside. Which I bet is members only. In fact, I don't even know what rewards are uh, non-members. Because most of them are like bonus experience and member skills and items related to member skills. It might literally just be the holiday capes that you can earn as a non-member. I don't know. I'll have to check it out as soon as we get woodcutting 45. But you know what I realized is that RuneScape doesn't have pet bunnies, which is really strange. You would think they would have added those back when they added the uh, summoning skill. And they added like squirrels and stuff as pets. But no bunnies. And what made me think of that was that they added uh, bunnies to uh, emotes. Paid emotes, of course in El Storo. Which, yeah, I have 45 rune coins now. A long way away from the, what, 400 something I need for a bank booster. I might get tempted and just spend it on something else if I get bored. Because earning 400 is going to take a while. Anyway, we are... It's going to take us a while to get to level 45 woodcutting, I think. So... I'm going to take this time to look up whether or not the butterflies give anything to non-members. Because that seems important. Oh, and I, did I mention that we are now doing Greenscape on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday? I mentioned it in block order, but yeah, we've officially done the swap in schedules. So that will be interesting to see how that works out in the long run. But I'm pretty happy with it. I wish I had done the schedule from the beginning. Anyway, let's get this stuff banked. 82 willow logs. If I keep these willow logs, I could maybe do a fire making daily. That reminds me, I didn't remember... Okay, yeah, we got two members only ones. And yeah, this is what they're calling the event. Participating, you can get experience in... Yeah, farming, slayer, mining. So I guess you can get mining experience, and then these are all members only. And then these are the event items that I'm guessing are mem not members. Anyway, let's keep cutting. Okay. So, 
Catching the butterflies unlocks Guthic's memories, but I don't know if that's non-members or not. Catching butterflies does boost your uh, prayer and life points, though. I think. I guess we'll just have to catch them and see what happens. Because I don't know. And nobody's really saying whether or not it is. Um, I know you can get like a sort of edicts override or something. I don't know what the exact uh, title of it is, but yeah, sort of edicts. It says it's non-members. Why is this guy chopping my tree? Out of all these trees, he's chopping my tree. How rude. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought it would. I think I might take a break. After this inventory, I'll go uh, go check out the event. I'll earn the stuff from it, but I'm not going to record it all because the mini game is really kind of terribly boring. So I'll do it a couple times just to show you how it works, but I'll be earning the capes and stuff off screen. Wait, is there any poison? point in having the mining bonus experience be free if you can't use it unless you're a member. Huh. That's kind of dumb. I just realized that. Because as far as I know, you can't use bonus experience in any skill. And I have it in a few skills, now that they actually let you keep the stars from the treasure hunter. Oh, and I need to work on farming. I should go do that after this inventory and catch butterflies of course there was actually a pretty annoying glitch with the butterflies where people who had caught them last year couldn't catch them on the first day this year because for some reason Jagex reuses the variables and doesn't reset them which makes me wonder just how many holiday variables are lying around in our save file taking up space that could be used for extra bank space or something something more useful it's pretty annoying to think about they could have been using that data to hold an extra bank space for everyone instead of wasting it on that let's catch this butterfly real quick there we go and deposit okay let's go what did I say I was going to do all oh, right the event I think you can't take any items into the event except maybe a cape but I'll just deposit everything because why not now let's head up to the potato farm and make some progress on the farming skill and then after that we will be checking out the event in all of its glory oh and I just realized I never fixed the music oh look at that okay oh this is the farming guy right here let's trade grab his free seeds and harvest yep Oh, only two? You suck. Whatever. Maybe next one will gain me a level. Oh, I saw a butterfly over here. Where'd it go? There it is. Ooh, two. I think you need something like 15 or 20 to get the memories and stuff. So I'll just catch them all. See, it's boosted my life points, and now my prayer is at full. There we go, a memory. No, I'll let you guys see the memories yourselves, if you're interested in that sort of thing. But I will gladly unlock them for myself. 
Okay. I do want that uh, override, even though I don't really use those for anything. Come on, you can catch it. I guess this is going to be a yearly event having these Guthix butterflies. I wasn't really expecting that. They're a fairly good experience if you're a member, though. Kind of like free penguin points every day. Yay, another memory. No, I don't want to view it. Okay. I guess I should have been counting how many I was catching. But there's another one over here. Hopefully it'll tell me when I unlock the cosmetic stuff. If not, I can always go talk to that guy it's been mentioning. Catch. There we go. I think the collar they glow is what they're boosting, but you can't get summoning boost as a non-member. I just realized I'm only summoning four. <laughs> Fourteen away from five. Should probably get on that. Oh well, let's head down to Lumbridge now. Check out the event. Oh, there's one of those butterflies. Oh well. Loading, please wait. Here we go. I will be joining the godless side. Mostly because I liked Guthix. But actually, mostly because Marimbo and Brassica Prime really annoy me. Especially their voices. Well, I don't know about Marimbo's voice, but Brassica Prime just... Ugh. It's supposed to be funny, but it just gets on my nerves. Yep, here they are. There's Brassica Prime. And on this side, Marimbo. I'm probably saying it wrong, but let's talk to this guy. Greetings, friend. If you want to help us, you can speak to the Quartermaster and join our cause. Okay. I will be here. I don't care. Um, join faction. You gonna talk? No, I don't care. The godless. Which are losing, but... Whatever. Like, it even matters in this. I don't know what the outcome will be, but I don't think it matters. Let's look at the rewards. Yeah, you can get the godless cloak. I guess you have to switch teams to get all three cloaks. It was just something I wish they'd stop doing. Does this mean you can actually buy the bonus experience, even if you aren't? I mean, I wasn't expecting to see these as listed options. Because, I mean, what's the point of Sea Decide if you're limited to farming level 5? And Slayer VIP ticket for non-members or patch bombs. You can't even use patches. Not really. And then there's the abilities, which we have to select. Iron Hide. And these two. Woohoo. Here's the descriptions. Take less damage. Deal more damage. Gather resources more quickly. And while well, Gorilla, you can sprint 30% more often. The other thing that doesn't make sense about this minigame is that I don't really get how the sides work because everyone turns into a monkey and your goal is to not become a monkey and to kill monkeys and stuff. So I don't really see where anybody really works into this as winning or losing. If anything, I'd say Marimbo's winning just because everyone turns into a monkey when they die. Here's these descriptions. Anyway, doesn't look like anybody's playing on this world. Which I guess shouldn't be too surprising. Either that or they're all in-game, but... The scoreboard shows what all you've done. Anyway, let's switch worlds. Find a world with a lot of people on it. For example... Um, 
Hopefully there's people here. Um, okay, good. Also, people yell at you in this game if you start to kill them once you turn into a monkey. Which is really annoying. At the very least, they don't show your name when you're a monkey to other players, so they can't realize who's attacking them, really. But still, it's annoying. And honestly, I think maybe the best way to play this minigame is to just go in and turn into a monkey immediately. And then you can just basically AFK it and get points. It won't be the fastest, but you don't have to pay any real attention. And you get two points for every person that turns into a monkey. And if you want to pay slight attention, you can gain two points every round just for uh, punching a resource real quickly. It's about as hard as cutting ivy. And, um, nothing's happening. Well, this was unexpected. Is it just me, or should there be more people here? I don't know the minimum people for a game. We might have to go to World 3. Since that's probably where everyone is. Um... Yeah. We got four people. It's probably five. I'd imagine that would be the minimum amount. Oh god, this sucks. Anyway, let's take a quick look at my skills, see which ones are close to leveling up. Huh, spithing's only 800. Uh, 900 for fishing. Um, sorry about that, had to cough. Um, farming is only 38 away. Summoning's only 14 away. Okay, I think they were in a game because some people just appeared. That's a good sign. Well, it's a good sign if they get in here. Um, defense is only 200 away. Oh, tax only 100 away. Rune crafting's 200. Yeah, we're close to quite a few levels. Okay, we have five people now. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to switch worlds after this game, if one even starts. That is one fat monkey. Definitely not a monkey, not to be called a monkey, an ape. Well, I called him a monkey, so I win. And now I'm going to switch worlds, because this is stupid. Okay. 500 people is not enough, apparently. We need 1,000 people. And it's doing that weird glitch where it thinks I gained a whole bunch of my recent experience all at once. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. I will not look at your cape. Oh god, it's getting dark. I was only playing this at low graphics before. So basically, all you do is you try to grab resources, and you get points, and then this gets in the way, apparently. And you can kill these little monkeys for points. Oh crap, I'm too close. Those things throw stuff at you if you're too close. And there's, there's these AI monkeys. And then there's also uh, players turn into those as well. And you have that much time to get to a safe zone, and now I'm being attacked, so let's stun the guard and run. Because I do not want to get killed. Oh great, another guard. And now I'm running through fire. Yeah, let's just stay safe. I think I might be at a disadvantage due to my level. See, he's wearing his cape, so... I don't know if that gives you the uh, defense bonus or not, but it might be worth checking out. See, he's already turned into a monkey, and he talked so you can tell who he is. 
And you have to wait until things poof. Otherwise, if you run out when it says zero, you will get transformed. Something I found out on accident once. And yeah, you have to wait two minutes between using stun guard. But you have unlimited uses. And you can use flame proof only three times per game. It says per round, but it means per game. You can only really get many resources on the first few times. Once a bunch of players start getting converted and more of the AI spawn, you really can't do anything. And you get health for gathering resources, so it's a good idea to do that if you get the chance. Because it'll help you last longer. Anyway, let's kill this monkey and then... We need to run. Hopefully this fire goes away. Okay, there it goes over here. Oh god. Under attack. Yeah, I think I'll only do this one playthrough, and then I'll get back to woodcutting. I'm actually doing better than I thought I would, considering my level. Okay, that monkey's coming. That's a player, because it doesn't have a name as guard monkey. And he's talking. Luckily, he's ignoring me. Oh, but this one's after me, so... Well, no, he's not after me, so I'll kill this monkey. You have to be careful about standing where the fire appears. And usually I would avoid those, but I don't really care. Ow, ow, ow. Can't get me. That was an actual AI. Okay. Oh great, we got fire. And we have to go through one of those things if we don't avoid it. And you gain the amount of points equal to the current round. Oh, uh, uh oh. Okay, that's just an AI, so... Don't expect... What? I didn't click on that monkey, did I? I clicked on that one. I'm attacking all the monkeys on the way through. Yeah, let's uh, get out of here. Yeah, see, you can pretty much have to just survive. Oh, that guy's lucky. You can't really hope to uh, really collect any resources at this point. Unless you are lucky. And all the AI and stuff focuses on other players. But this is basically all the game is. When you're a monkey, you just punch people, and then once around you can punch a resource. And that somehow puts a trap on it. And even if every player is in the safe zone, you have to wait until the time runs out, which is also very boring. And the eliminated players can not really match the total players every time. Okay, poof. Everyone goes poof. I'm going to try to punch this monkey to death before one of those apes gets to me. There one comes. Let's uh, stun him. And run. See, now there's three players and three eliminated, and yet... Oh, now there's four. Four players, okay. And yet there's two of us left. See, it's nonsensical. The numbers mean nothing, apparently. And this guy's walking around. He's a player. There's another player. There's an AI. They're probably going to all run to this side, the west side. Because they know we're both going to try to run through there. Um, time remaining zero. Did I just lose connection? What? No, I didn't lose connection, it's just glitching. Because that guy walked. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Let's just get through here. Okay, flame proof, please. You have to turn it on early because it's a bit laggy. And, uh, I won! And I'm running away. I had 26, though. 
Yeah, you have a daily bonus that will double your points up to a certain point. But it's really not that great of a game, so I haven't hit that daily bonus yet. Anyway, so that got me 34 points. Apparently. That's not correct. How does 26 plus 26 equals 34? It doesn't. Oh my god. This, this sucks. I mean, how does that even work? So I can buy all this crap. Dang, that sucks. The only thing I care about getting in the next two weeks, though, is the cloaks, because the rest of it's going to be available forever. Apparently there's a free faction emote, but I don't know how you get it. I don't know if you just talk to this guy and be like, give me an emote. Terrible news. The gods are winning this strange battle. We need to redouble our efforts. How do you win this battle? What is even the victory? Uh, whatever, I don't care. So yeah, that is Marimbo versus Braska Prime. Cabbage, face punch, whatever. Um, I never got to be a monkey, did I? I'd better show that, so whatever. We'll end this episode with me as a monkey. I'll deliberately transform or something. Just to show you guys what being a monkey is like. And we'll have to get Woodcutting 45 in the next episode. But that's okay. I did get halfway to 44 at least. I already know what I'll do. I'll just gather resources until I die. Or the time limit runs out. Okay, let's gather from this. As long as you're doing something when everyone else is doing it, you'll get credit, so... Okay, this fire has me closed in. I don't really care. Let's just flame-proof right through. Oh, come on. Really? It ran out? Maybe I'll get to this one in time. Okay. Score is six points. Punch the monkey. Get this. I'm surprised how well this is going, actually. Dang, I missed out on that monkey. I won't get to this one in time, either. Oh, maybe I did. No. Oh, there's one of the monkeys. Let's, uh... Let's not... Oh, I wanted to do a bit more. Whatever. Heck, I'll just keep gathering. Why not? I don't care. I healed. Like I said, the point of this one was to show you guys what it's like to be a monkey. Come on, I wanted to keep gathering. You're stupid. Whatever. There I go, turning into a monkey. So now we get to punch these guys. And that's basically all you do. You can now run through fire and stuff. And punch players. And apparently I'm not punching the player now. You get caught on edges a lot as this monkey. A player was eliminated by a gorilla. Yeah, as far as I can tell, you don't gain anything for eliminating a player yourself. Everyone just gets two points. Which is kind of annoying. You should get three for doing it yourself. Okay, there's a bunch of players over here, but I don't think I'll get... Oh, here's one. No, he got away. Though he did have to waste his fire thing, so that's good. See, I just got caught on an edge. It's dumb. Yeah... All right, let's get off that emote thing. And here we go. So first thing you do is place a trap by punching. Because they couldn't be bothered to make an animation for a minigame that's going to be around forever. And now let's just attack this guy because he's just sitting there waiting to be attacked. Oh, he stunned me. Oh, well, we can attack this guy. Or girl, I can't tell from this angle. I think it's a girl. Oh, we got her. Or him, I don't know. A number is not a very gender identifying name. Oh well. He 
Yep. And here we are. As usual, I place a trap. You can also place the trap second, but I don't really care about attacking the players that much. The AI and the fire will do a lot of damage on its own. Yeah, see, they're just running now. They're not even trying to gather stuff. Because with four eliminated players, they don't really have a choice. Oh, here comes someone, actually. Punch. You suck. Because I'm punching you. And we got caught, because... Our pathfinding sucks. But see, I already almost have the same amount of points. Even though I barely even tried. Of course, some people who run can get like 90 points and stuff, 100 points. But that's a lot of effort for a game that really isn't that good. Anyway. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh gosh. That is not what I look like. Not really. I'm kind of darker and bluish. Oh well. Place a trap. From what I can tell, most people run along either edge. It looks like they're probably all running along the other edge though. Yeah, I don't see any players. There's one. Five eliminated play. Oh, here comes one. Can I catch him before he gets through? Or he got eliminated. Okay, that works. Works for me. Is this the Junko guy again? No, Sander. That's cool. Huh. Oh, here comes Junko, I bet. And I just got turned around. There he is. I recognize your name, and I punch you. Oh, we got another guy. It does seem like combat levels does affect this, because at 99 HP, you have like 3,000. And I imagine you probably do more damage as well. Right, let's uh, place a trap. It's easy to accidentally click on the monkeys, which is annoying. Okay. That's a player there. Punch. Is that Junko? Ah. Uh, I don't know who that was. But we won! And I got 32. So that was how you be a monkey. Uh, that didn't sound grammatically correct. Whatever, I got 76 points now, so... Yeah, so I'll be doing this outside of the video. There's no reason for you to watch me do this for hours. But anyway, this has been Bowl of Queso, a.k.a. Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.